Welcome to the Newton tutorial series. I'm Mike Cruz with AC Tech and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your results to a DXF file. So if you're an AutoCAD user or if you have any other reason for using DXF files then in Newton you have the ability to export the triangles and or the cluster data to a DXF file. And what it does is it just prints the, the the each triangle and it'll print a sphere, a 3D sphere or a set of lines that represent the position of each cluster. So to get at that menu you go under File, Playback Tools, Export Playback File to DXF. So in here you choose your options for exporting. Do I want to export the triangles and the clusters or just one or the other? Do I want to export the clusters as spheres or as lines? Spheres is probably a better idea because it's going to make a f smaller file size and it'll be quicker rendering. But the option is, is available um, if you want to use lines instead. How many clusters? Well, if my file has 300,000 clusters, I could export all of them. But then when I try and open that file in AutoCAD, it's going to take 10 minutes to open because AutoCAD is just slow like that. So rather than doing that, maybe we just want to export 10% of them because that's still going to give us a good picture of the flow or maybe I just want to do one one hundredth of them and then finally we can specify export bounds so if I only want to export say the particles right here in this shoot then I could specify a region to do that and I'm going to show you a shortcut for that so rather than you know I'd have to blindly guess at what are these bounds negative 2.5 to 2.5 or, or whatever rather than doing that if you go here Go to Clip Plane 1, not any of the other ones, but go to Clip Plane 1 and you can set up some values here to kind of figure out where that region is. So I happen to know that I want negative 1 to 1, negative 2.5 to 2.5, and negative 2 to 2. I think that was what I wanted. Off. I just want the values. Okay, exactly. That's, well, okay, maybe negative 2.2 to 1.8, whatever. Close enough. So now I've got just that transfer shoot. So now when I go back into my export window and I click specify region, it's going to automatically populate those values with this clip plane data. And it only does that for clip plane 1. So it's just a nice little shortcut so that you don't have to sit here and guess at what those bounds are. So I want to apply that region just to the clusters, not to the triangles, because I want to export all the triangles. And we're going to go ahead and export just 10% of these clusters here. And it only does the clusters that are currently visible as well. So if I'm only if I'm at the start of the simulation, I'm only going to get these ones at the top. So I don't, why don't we why don't we go ahead and cancel that? Let's go to time 10 seconds. No, let's go to time 5 seconds. All right. Go back in here, export all of it. 10% of the clusters, specify my region, only apply the region to the clusters. Export. So now when I, let's just save it right here. It's going to go ahead and say, all right, that was successful. Now let's go ahead and open that up. Where is that? Right there. So it's opening up DWG on my left monitor here. And it's about a third of the way open. I'll give it a few moments. All right, there we go. So now we can see, as soon as it loads, because AutoCAD is slow. All right, as soon as it loads, we can see we've exported all of our layers on their each individual layer, as well as those clusters we wanted. So if we look in our layer list, we can see, oh, cluster 1 through cluster 14. And then there's these other layers as well that we wanted. So everything has gotten exported. All right. Now there was one other option that we could choose as well. If we want to, we could export position tracers. But in order to do that, we have to enable our position tracers. So position tracers. And since w once you switch to position tracers, you can't see any yet. You have to skip a few frames or, or play back the file. So when you export, it only takes those visible position tracers. So if you had just switched to it, then it wouldn't export any tracer. So we want to flip a few frames. Now go File, Playback, Export, and now that ability is there to export the position tracers as well. So that covers it for exporting to a DXF file. If you don't work with DXF files at all, then just you don't need to use that, and this tutorial is probably not for you.
but otherwise I think uh, a few of our users had asked for this feature and that's why we had implemented it so but it's certainly nice if let's say you were working with a geometry and you lost the geometry file but you still have the playback file if you still have this playback file you can take any playback file any single frame any UCM file and you can just export that geometry right there and it even keeps that meshing if you want so it's just a way to get back that DXF file if you happen to lose the the geometry so then if you have any other questions regarding the DXF export go ahead and send us an email to info at ACTech.com thanks